You know, we can confirm that the actress is now in stable condition, but she is potentially facing a slew of charges. And we're talking about speeding, DUI, and hit and run. That's all uh, part of the investigation, according to the LAPD. And they're waiting to speak to the actress. But one thing we can say for certain, a lot of damage was done out here. Just take a look. This is the house right here behind us here in Mar Vista. This is on Walgrove Avenue. Part of the house caught fire. The homeowner was inside at the time, but no word if she was also injured. You can see the house has been boarded up and it doesn't look like anyone is living there right now. This happened on Friday around 11 a.m. Take a look. Sky 5 captured the moment the 53 year old actress was taken away in an ambulance. She was taken to a local hospital. She suffered significant injuries and some serious burns according to the fire department. The LAPD saying that Haish appeared to be under the influence and was acting erratically. According to witnesses, she may have also been speeding. They saw her in a blue Mini Cooper. They say she first crashed into an apartment building near here, then took off from that location and ended up crashing into this house here on Walgrove. This Mar Vista home immediately caught fire. It took 59 firefighters about an hour to fully put out the fire. Following the accident, a rep for the actress released this statement to CNN. Take a look. Anne is in the ICU. She's lucky to be alive. She has severe burns and a long recovery ahead of her. Her team and her family are still trying to process what led up to this. Now, Haisha's condition has since been upgraded. She is now in stable condition and in recovery. As for the homeowner, according to the GoFundMe page, she's been identified as Lynn Michelle, a resident here in Mar Vista. Neighbors are trying to raise money for her to pay for some of the damages. So far, about $60,000 has been raised. Now, early we did say she was in the house at the time, but again, we don't know if she was injured back out here alive. The LAPD waiting to speak with Ann Haish in order to figure out exactly what happened here. Part of the investigation we do know is speeding and this street right here. Not sure if you can tell from this live shot, but it is a tease. So a very dangerous situation if you were not following the speed limit and especially if you're under the influence. That's the very latest. I'm Lena Bremen reporting live in Mar Vista, KTLA 5 News.